En diciembre de 2015, Plural Plus celebró su séptima entrega de premios en el auditorio del Pellet Center for Media de Nueva York. Uno de los jóvenes cineastas, el filipino Bridge, Asher Harani, vino a Nueva York para proyectar su película, Blue. I decided to follow my dream, so I made a small studio in the Philippines for film, and now I'm working full time as a filmmaker and photographer in different things. Su película se centra en lo que pasa cuando alguien destaca por ser distinto a la mayoría. También muestra cómo pueden afectar a las personas los prejuicios, dice Bridge. Blue is um, a kind of character that left his family in order for him to experience new life in a foreign place. But that didn't end well. The thing is, what happens? These people try to do drugs, do crime, things unimaginable, in order for them to forget about what is the discrimination that they are facing every day in a in a foreign place. Algo que el propio Bridge experimentó de pequeño en el Valle de Compostela, una provincia al sur de Filipinas. When I was a kid, my friends, uh, classmates, they treat me like. I'm somebody that you should be near it because they call you ugly. See, hear people saying that to me every day, it really hurts. Frustrado por la forma en que le trataban, Bridge pensó en quitarse la vida. But I realized that committing suicide is not a solution. I decided to um, focus on the academics. I decided to be a strong person. And if we connect that to the stories of the migrants, it jives with the story that we have seen from my film, Blue. Los esfuerzos de Bridge rindieron frutos. Su película recibió dos premios. Uno, del prestigioso festival Plural Plus, que alienta a los jóvenes a analizar asuntos como las migraciones o la diversidad. Y otro, otorgado por la televisión de las Naciones Unidas. It's really special for me. Um, I think Blue is uh, very significant when it comes to the works of the United Nations because we all know that United Nations uh, tackles issues that is happening around the world in many aspects of our society. To the youth, they don't need to think of themselves as different. We are all humans, but we have our uniqueness within us. We should embrace it. Tindy Stephen trabaja en la Organización Internacional para las Migraciones. Cree que películas como Blue pueden ser herramientas útiles de enseñanza. We can start using these films in schools and with educators to start uh, finding ways of bringing children together and exploring these themes, discussing them. La celebración fue organizada por la Alianza de Civilizaciones de las Naciones Unidas, que tiende puentes entre culturas, fomenta el diálogo entre los pueblos y reduce las discrepancias entre naciones. El director del proyecto, Jordi Torrent, dice que abordar cuestiones sociales a través del cine es fundamental, especialmente temas poco debatidos, vistos desde la perspectiva de jóvenes de todo el mundo. Se emocionó especialmente con Blue. Differences are good, but different is a richness, something that makes us more interesting. And, and I think that that's Blue reflects on that. The moment our youth accepts who, we, who they are, and what are their real personalities, then they can be a real person. The story of Blue is perfect because it talk about how can we ever get through these issues that our young people are facing, especially in this early stage of being a part of the society. Este reportaje ha sido producido por Chia Suan Lee y Jacqueline Lee para las Naciones Unidas.